Hello, everyone, and welcome to Your Mind, Your Reality, Your Results, a weekly live show where I speak with an expert in the subject of mindset, so you can change your mindset and ultimately get the amazing results that you want in your life. If we haven't met yet, my name is Leah Fink. I'm the owner and founder of All Thrive, and I help protect people from the pain of damaged relationships. If you ever want to talk about that, I would love to connect, so please reach out. Before we start today, I also wanted to give a quick shout out. It is Bell Let's Talk Day today. I'm not affiliated with Bell at all, but I do love the fact that they're encouraging people to talk about mental health, to talk about their struggles. And because that's something that's very dear to me, I first want to just put that out there. If you're struggling, reach out. If you think someone else might be struggling, please reach out, have those conversations. It's a wonderful reminder to do that. So thanks for letting me throw that in. I am so happy to welcome our guest today. Welcome to the show, Patsy. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Well, I am too, because we do have a really fun uh, show and tell, as you described it today. <laughs> um, also, Patsy is an expert in this. So if you have any questions, any comments, do feel free to put those in the comment box because you could take advantage of her brilliance right now. Also, if you are watching this show and we are not live anymore, still feel free to put those in because we will be able to get back to you with answers to your questions. Yay, that's so great. without further ado, let's dive right in. Uh, we had the pleasure of meeting each other, but uh, let's let the audience know a little bit about how you got to be an image expert. Well, you know what? I've had a salon business for four plus decades and um, I've always realized that it's not just about your hairstyle, you know, and we start at the top, but most of my customers, we'd always talk about fashion or what different things. And um, I had moved to a new area and I was trying to start over and I was struggling and I'd been color typed in the seasons, you know, in the early eighties. And I even did that color typing off and on for 25 years until it kind of ran its gamut. And so when I tried to build my business as a hairstylist, um, they would ask me, what it, well, What do you do that's different? Because when I moved to Santa Rosa, which is above San Francisco, there's a salon in every corner. It was very challenging to start over and get new clients. And I realized that I, I used to help color type people, so that could be fun. And then um, I joined a 12-step group for food because I was very miserable. I weighed 250 pounds. And I just, I feel like I couldn't fit in, in the city. Like I just was so unhappy with myself. Somebody introduced me to this 12 step group. And so I went and I went and within eight or nine months, I went from a size 20, 22 to six, eight. And I've been that way for wow. almost 14 years, but um, it, it is a transformational program. Like you change the person you are, you let go of the past, you heal those, and then you become yourself. So now people could, you know, like dressing a fat apple shape that I had at the time to a, somebody that actually had a waist was such a surprise. I didn't know how to do it. But after a year, all of us in the program had lost weight. And as we were losing weight, we would bring our clothes to the, to the meetings and people would take what was their next size. And it was a great way to purge and stuff. So, um, and after about a year, here you are in your natural body size that, you know, you should be in eating healthy. And uh, we didn't really know how to do that. So I thought, oh, I'll go get retrained again. So I tried that in to add that into my business in Santa Rosa, but it wasn't going so well. So I was color typed as an earth. And you would have a few years ago saw me with really dark hair and purple highlights wearing jewel tones and mostly black. And I thought I looked great. So I met a woman in the program that was a speaker trainer. And she asked me, would I come and do the hair at her event? But she used a stylist that did the elements. And I said, sure, I'd love to come. So in the elements, it encompasses all of you. You, you have a shape, you have a hairstyle, you have right colors. It's who you were born to be and like your natural gifts. Like this all in alignment. So she'd say, Patsy, cut them hair, their hair in this shape. And I would do that. And so it was great. And so when we got done, she said, um, my friend said, hey, Patsy, uh, Barbell color type in the elements if you want. And I said, oh, no, I'm good. I, I know how to dress. I look good. And she goes, really, Patsy? You've been complaining to me that business isn't going so good. She goes, I wonder if what you're wearing is stopping people from working with you. Well, I knew in that split second, I could be open to possibilities, a little vulnerable. Or I could keep struggling trying to build my business. I said, fine. I just don't want to be a fire. And I did it to make her happy. Well, they color me as a fire. And I, I wasn't very happy. I didn't want to do that. 
And then she explained that each element had natural character traits, how you show up in the world already, the jobs you're doing, the gifts that you have. And she goes, Patsy, fires are movers and the shakers. They get stuff done. They, they just move. They get stuff done. And she said, when I think about all the stuff Susan told me you're involved in, like you started a retreat, you did this. She goes, I just don't know how I keep up with the energy. She said, and if you could see how beautiful you look in your colors. I started crying. I thought, what's the matter with me? She said, look, let's go shopping. We'll buy you a few tops at a consignment store. And if people don't treat you differently, you don't have to do this. I said, okay, I'll do it. And every time I wore one of those tops to work, people would say, gee, Pats, you look pretty today. Gee, Pats, you look nice today. But when the owner of the salon came in, she goes, what are you doing different lately? You look amazing. I thought, oh my gosh. Before I got complimented on my hair color or my outfit, but people didn't really see me. I thought, oh my gosh, this is the work I wanted to do. So I got trained by her. I managed her business for a couple of years because she got very ill. And four years ago, she sold me the business. So now I own a business I didn't even want. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> crack me up. But I started being the stylist that worked with the speaker trainer, Susan. And I saw the transformation of us working together as a team. I did their colors on the outside. She helped get to their core talk on the inside and put that together. And people would go from making zero to thousands of dollars in their business. And I thought, so dressing in your element means you can make more money because people can connect. And I actually doubled my business in two years. So I think entrepreneurs and you know professionals don't know how important it is. And the latest statistic from Harvard Business School says people make an assessment about you in less than the first five seconds they see you and 50% is on what you're wearing and how you're dressed. And I thought, oh my gosh. So if you think about it, we all make an assessment, right? You can look at somebody and think, ooh, why are they wearing that? Especially at Walmart. Like you can tell people don't feel good about themselves. So I just think it was so important to help people know. And so when we all had COVID hit and we had to close, I had to close my salon. I had a makeover studio by that time. I could do everything in one's place, do their colors, do their hair, do their makeup, help them shop. I had gently used clothes that my clients weren't wearing anymore. And I could help transform somebody in just, you know, a couple hours. And it was the most exciting thing ever. And so I thought, now what do I do, God? I mean, this is something I do in person. And I got this download that now that we're on Zoom and the lighting is good, I could send a style kit to somebody and have them hold up the fabrics. And I could see that. And I did a beta testing of a woman in Oregon, a woman in Texas. And then I had a coach that had a group of her friends who wanted to do it. And it worked. Then after I do the color typing, then we we can do your closet on Zoom. I can take you shopping on Zoom. I can help analyze, you know, what works for you. And then you can text me anytime you're shopping. Does this work for me? And it, it's been the most exciting thing I've ever done. Now I'm international. I have can, you know, clients in Canada and the UK. And I even have a gal in Portugal. Like, I who would have ever thought that the COVID could be such a blessing? And I'm able to help so many more people. So I just think it's important that people know you can be confident and look amazing and not think about what you're going to wear when you get on Zoom and do business. So I'm just committed. <laughs> you can you can hear the passion in your voice Thanks. for sure. And it's amazing, first of all, that you have this now, that you've been able to bring this to life to help so many people. I also want to really acknowledge, also because of the day again, you know, kudos to you for when you were seeing your life was not what you wanted to be. You were going through some challenges that you did reach out. You joined that group and and cool how to see how it's now changed your whole life, right? Like every step along the way now and has it is happened. Life that changed. You know, it yeah. really is about mindset. Like you talk about, that's why I love the work you do. You help people really get in touch and break through those barriers to have good relationships, right? And so it's all mindset. But how do you feel about yourself? When you get up next, every morning, when you go to your closet and you know you're going to be on Zoom, you know, people go, what's my best worst outfit here? Or is it, I have so many cute clothes, I don't know what to wear. Okay, what am I doing today? Oh, I'm the speaker, so I'm going to wear a power outfit. So I help women and men find out, like, how, how do you use your, your fabric fan? How do you know what colors to wear when? And it's really empowering to know, like, you can be totally confident. 
show up, feel good about yourself. And then you can spend your energy being present, you know, with what the work you want to work with other people. So it's been life changing. I have so many amazing people. And the part that's the most fascinating is people that work with an image stylist make about 20% more in their business because they're easily connect with people up front instead of having to work to earn that trust and confidence in people. So I find it fascinating. I can't tell you how it works. I just know that color is magic and uh, we don't do anything without thinking about the color. You think about the car, you know, the furniture you buy, the color you paint your rooms, like it affects every part of our life. So it's, it's fun. So I, I want to show you a, a, a you know, little show and tell because I feel like if you people out here in the call here can see that it does make a difference uh it's kind of more fun for you to realize oh she's not just giving me a bunch of baloney so here's the color I used to wear all the time these are scarves so do you see do you see me or do you see the color the color it's very blocky with like a floating head don't I so this is <laughs> black, right so here's another color that uh is one of the elements. I'll tell you about them later. So do you see me or I kind of look washed down? Do you, can you see that kind of? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. With that pink. And the other thing is when you get dressed, you know, you ask yourself, look in the mirror, do I see me or do I see what I'm wearing? And that sometimes can tell you that your outfit's screaming louder and people aren't going to see you as easy, right? So here's another color. That feels warmer. Yeah, sure. but it kind of overtakes me, right? This color is kind of in your face color, right? <laughs> yeah, the bright salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is chocolate brown. So this is actually my eye color. So you actually, it's a dark color, but you still see me better than you do in the black, right? Yeah. It's hard sometimes to tell. But this is my eye color. And, and this is one tip I want to tell you. If you can find tops... Uh, in your eye color, it makes you more approachable. So it's easier to connect with you when you're wearing your eye color, right? So that is one tip. The other thing I want to share with you is the teal I have on right here. Everybody can wear. And this is wine color. And then there's an eggplant, which is a darker uh, purple wine color. Those are all good colors to wear on Zoom. So, you know, go in your closet or you can go online. Eggplant top teal top and just it doesn't cost a lot to start transitioning and looking better it's just putting those colors on you know because you want people to see you and connect and when people look at you they look at you from head to toe and i one suggestion i have is you know make sure you have a current hairstyle or your hairstyle's done and your hair looks nice that you have mascara and lip color there's a uh one of my clients uh did did well she's got two masters in stuff and she shared with me that there's something they call lipstick effect that people perceive you as more professional when you wear lip color isn't that interesting yeah. so when people look at you they look at your hair your cheeks your lips i mean your eyes down your so they look from head to toe within five seconds i mean that sounds crazy but it's true just even wearing jewelry like this is the right shape for me i'm yeah. just wear diamonds or triangles right and it's just little things and it doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't, you don't have to invest, it doesn't, you know, throw out everything in your wardrobe. It's just start adding those things that are going to make you look and feel powerful. So the part that's exciting is like, I have these little booklets that are the guidebooks that once you know what your color palette is, it tells you, okay, well, let me tell you this story. This was the one thing that really transformed me because I didn't quite get the energy of color. I'd done color typing. I knew kind of the, it's kind of the same color palette, but it's knowing how to use your color palette to change your life. So I was going to help at a, an event and I was going to be in the back room as just uh, supporting my friend, right? So I found this new top in my flesh color, which my is kind of a peach color and it had a V-neck. I thought, oh, this is beautiful. It was Alfani. It was a dressy nice and, um, and I went in and I got my book. I thought, what does flesh tone mean? Okay. So I got it and I says, now, these are closest to your natural skin tone. They allow others access to your heart and purity. They convey an openness, a deep connection, intimacy, trust, comfort, and safety. So I thought, I just want people to feel safe and trust to walk up and ask what they need, right? So I'll wear that. Then I found a little duster. 
So I decided to wear it. So in this event, my speaking coach was the speaker. And then another friend of mine that was a, an image stylist, she was the image stylist. And I just was come along to support her. So she walks in that morning and she goes, oh, Patsy, you look luscious today. I said, I do. She said, yes. I said, well, thank you. And then I wore the same outfit to a network event three weeks later. And a lady came out. She goes, Patsy, you look radiant tonight. I never said a word either time. I thought, oh, this is the energy of color. I was fascinated how this worked. So it's just, it, it should be fun being you. It should be fun being you at whatever size you are. Like everybody's put on a few pounds of COVID. Who cares? You know, they're not joining your body type. They're joining who you are because you now are your brand. Used to be like your tagline and your logo. They join you. They want to connect with you. Are you going to, do you, do you care enough about going into your closet to dress nice? So you take care of you, then they know they're going to, you're going to take care of them. Like that trust factor is what we're building when we get working with people. Why right? do you ever feel that Leah? You have to, you have to build that trust factor working with people like talking about, per, you know, personal stuff is it's intimate. Yeah. Right. Oh, one thousand percent. Yeah. It's so important to, to build them. I like that you're highlighting, first of all, the piece about uh, it doesn't matter your body type and the comfort piece all, that you touched on earlier too, that, you know, I've gone into my closet sometimes and gone, oh, I hate everything here and I'm not excited. And I'm sure that does come across of this. I, this doesn't feel comfortable on my body or I don't like moving in it. Yeah. When you show you up that energy, a little bit more, yeah. you know, <laughs> we do right we do so the yeah. so here's here's another tip that i think is really important people know you don't want to wear white because white kind of makes you look bigger you know and the light reflects off that black you saw what black does it makes you a floating head and energetically people can't connect with you and only earth can pull off wearing black and i don't even recommend they wear it wear it on zoom because it's so dark it's so uh disconnecting and prints. It's better not to, you know, these bold prints people wear that is fashionable. It all people look at is, is the, the outfit. They're, they're not seeing you. So just set those aside and see if you can find solid color items in your closet. So people will feel kind of connect and see you first. Right. So those can kind of help just have you start where you're at with, you know, go to your closet and see what you have, you know? So the, I have a, I have a webinar coming up. And I'm very excited about it. It's a two-part series. And I'm going to take you through my, my PowerPoint and show you before and after pictures and explain what it, what does it mean to be typed in the elements? What are those colors? What are the energetic words? And what do they convey, right? And so at the end of the first day, this 90-minute set part, um, I'm going to share the same information. And then I'm going to have people go into their closet and see if they can't find an outfit that they want to wear, that they feel good about, that looks kind of like I've shared, and then maybe I bring an outfit. And then everybody the next day, we're going to just going to go do and review the closet. Let's see what you have in your closet that works now. Then I can say, hey, wear this. This is good. Or I think that's too bold or that, you know, the people don't really see you and kind of give them a heads up of like, you know, I think shopping's a crapshoot. Do you like to shop, Leah? Uh, sometimes it depends on the result. Yeah. Well, I find that people shop for three reasons. One, they're going to an event. They feel like they have to have something new. Did you ever feel that way? Yeah. Two, totally. on sale. I'm sure I'm going to wear it. And how many times do you have that hanging in your closet still? <laughs> three, you're happy, sad, lonely, mad, and bored. So I find that that's the way I used to shop. And when I shared that with people, they'd go, yeah. <laughs> so another statistic that's fascinating is that people actually only wear 25% of the clothes in their closet. So what about that 75%? Some could be special occasions or whatever, yeah. uh, but we have a lot of time and money invested in stuff we're not wearing and we don't know why. But once you get color typed in the elements and you know your color palette and you, and you understand the energetics of it, it's easy to go, oh, of course, I. that's now, why, that's why I'm not wearing it. It does, it in my body, my body's not it's going, I don't like you. Don't wear me. Don't wear it. And so it's easy to release those things to people that will wear it, that there will be their colors that, you know, 
it's very, it's very, uh, it's very freeing to be embrace just being who you're supposed to be, right? Very freeing. That's a beautiful way to put it. And I completely agree. I want to take a moment to say, I hope I don't mispronounce your name. Ochochi, the great, <laughs> has uh, joined us and is saying hi. So thanks so much for watching and joining on the show. I also have a question for you, Patsy, because yeah. we talked about Black a couple times and also thinking about our Zoom world where we're seeing this piece. Obviously, you don't want Black right by your head. You look cut off and everything. But well, Black pants, the staple formal dress wear. What are your thoughts on black pants? Okay. So um, the thing about color is energy. So if you're wearing black pants and it's not in your palette, it's like you're cutting your energy off. So you could be up here, but down here is kind of don't get close, right? Yeah. So the fashion world constantly has us, they, they have us believe that you only look thin wearing black and that black is with everything, which it can. But when you're dressing in your energetics and your element, you want to be congruent from head to toe, inside out. So energetically, you know, it just flows who you're being, what you're wearing and your, your, your natural essence comes through and it's easier just to connect. You don't have to cut yourself in half, but it takes time to build a wardrobe. So we concentrate on the tops first and then we gradually add in the right colors when you have your color palette, right? So like it, it helps you knowing what colors to wear, right? So it's a transition and it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. That's why I work with people in a program for a couple months. Like, um, so I feel like that I'm excited because I'm going to be doing an academy and I'm going to talk about that in the, in the webinar. It's a six week group academy, which it's so much fun doing it together. Like, Oh, you look great in that. Yay. You know, kind of cheering each other on. So uh, yeah, so I think uh, the fashion industry just wants you to buy something new. Every season, they want you to buy something new. It doesn't matter whether it's your look. Like right now, there's a lot of boho out. And then the thing that's coming out for spring is color blocking. Oh, it's just these bold colors. Of, like they'll put orange and pink together. That's earth colors. But if you're a water and your colors are soft and muted, you're not going to wear that. That's not going to fit into your wardrobe. So it's like when you go in, you have you're in control. You think I'm not wearing that. You can go to a rack and think there's nothing here for me, right? Like you could just look at a rack, and hold out your fan, and kind of go, well, maybe this will work, right? So, yeah, yeah it gives you so much power. You you aren't forced to buy what the world tells you. That's why a lot of women and men, well, especially women shop at consignment stores because people purge their closet all the time and you find way more stuff there and it's more affordable to transition your wardrobe, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you shop. You can shop at the thrift store or you can shop at Nordstrom. It doesn't matter because you're shopping to be in your element for your style because once you get your colors done and you know what your element is, then we work on your inspired style. Like, what are you? Are you a casual? Are you a natural? Are you funky are you boho like then we shop for those things and we find the right designers and the right stores and just streamline all that stuff and when you go online it's so much easier to find what you want because you can type it in i want this what stores have this you know it's just fun it's just fun <laughs> i can't help but tell you but it's just fun no it it sounds really fun the energy is flowing for sure and I do want to bring it back really quick to the webinar. The great thing is, too, this is a complimentary webinar. Yeah. People can join this for free and they can check it out and start to learn a little bit more about this. Obviously, we only have half an hour to do this. And we'll make sure at the end of this that that gets into the comments. So if you're looking through here and um, watching and wanting to know where that is, we'll make sure it gets in there. Oh, no. And we just lost Pat's. <laughs> Uh, that might have been a wrong button push. This is the joy of being live. We'll see if she hops back on in a minute here. Um, but the webinar is the second and the third. Uh, I'm very excited to go attend it. So I hope I will see some of you there. Uh, even talking today, Patsy made me aware of some of the things I might be wearing and doing and not doing that aren't so helpful. So I hope that that is also what you guys got. Um, I'm not seeing her rejoin at the moment, and I am definitely not a qualified professional to talk about style. So 
Uh, we're going to wrap up today's episode there. Uh, we'll make sure all of Patsy's contact information also gets into the comments. And so if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in there. Feel free to reach out. I hope you have a great week. Oh, no. And we got her back. <laughs> I tried to go get the link to put it in there and it took me totally out of here. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll worry about that at the end. Okay. So, sorry. so don't you worry. That's okay. So do you want to, do you want to close any final statements or suggestions for people that you want them to take away from this? Uh, you know, uh, here's the saying I came up with. Fashion's a look. It's not a size. It's not an age. It's not a name brand. And it's not a price tag. It's who you're being and what you're wearing. Confident, attractive, and beautiful. Wonderful. Well, that is a, a great thought, I think, to end on. Thank you so much for being here today. I was mentioning to the viewers as you had popped out for a minute how you've made me think of a lot of things. I'm really excited to attend your webinar uh, coming up. And just thank you so much for being Thank you here. so much. So fun being here. It's good to see you again, Leah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.